They're pretty cute when they're tiny. Southwest yeah. Florida is home to a lot of fun, cute, and interesting animals, and a great place to learn about them is the Peace River Wildlife Center, and that is where you will also find the executive director, Robin Jenkins. Good morning. Good morning Holly. Thank you. So you brought two little. There's two. There's one. Robin's got one. There's one here uh, in there who's a little bit more camera shy, but little rats. <laughs> That's right, little baby rats. So tell us about them. These are uh, the native Florida wood rats. Okay. Uh, these guys uh, live in trees out in the palm tree in your yard. They're not going to invade your pantry. They're not going to chew through the wires okay. in your house. Okay. These, these are not New York subway uh, rats, right? No. <laughs> these are these country rats. Country rats. rats. All right. Uh, but these guys are very slow growing. This, uh, this little gal is about two months old already. Oh, wow. Um, these don't get mature until they're about nine months. Very slow growing. Normally smaller litters than the, uh, the pet rats or the invasive rats as well. This might be a weird question, but how many different varieties? Do, is this the only rat that we have here in Florida that's native, no. or is there a um, lot of different varieties? Well, there or? are a couple of uh, native rats and okay. native mice species in Florida, but the ones that most people are familiar with getting into your house, chewing into things, those are, those are invasive rats. Those okay. Are pet rats that we've brought oh. into and let it go in the wild. Or I gotcha. The, you know, the. the Roof rats, okay. or rats that that have um, come over on ships and that sort of thing. How'd you get these guys? What's the story behind them? Uh, normally, when people are uh, trimming palm trees, mm -hmm. the, the old dead boots or fronds, um, they'll uh, they'll cut Find the nest and, down. Oh, gotcha. Mom scoots out, and then the babies are left okay. behind. Is that the thing to do? What happens if you find some of these? And is it rats' baby season? I mean, is uh, it pretty common to see them this time of year? Pretty much year round. Okay. They, rats and uh, and rabbits are about the only yep. babies we're seeing right now. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you if you do disrupt a nest of anything, uh, ideally, if you can just leave it there, leave it Which alone. Which is hard to do. I know right. we like to, to save and, and come to the rescue. Yeah. But uh, you know, these guys do fairly well when they're when they're a little bit older. When they're very young, you know, the teeny okay. tiny little pinkies. Uh, you know, they're very hard to raise. But. Is the best thing to do is to call you guys too when you just don't Absolutely. know? Absolutely. If you're not sure what you've found, because when they're Tiny, you can't tell. Are they rats? Are they squirrels? Okay. It's hard to tell, even. Um, but uh, yeah, anytime you've got any kind of incident, call the Wildlife mm -hmm. Center and we'll walk you through it. We'll ask you a couple of questions and you'll think we're insane. Yeah. But uh, there's a reason. Okay. And we're trying to ascertain how old the thing is, what species it is, you know, if it's been, uh, you know, uh, you mm -hmm. know, attacked by a cat or a dog, or well, you know, determine what's wrong and and with the best course of action might be to do nothing, might be to move the nest, it might be okay. to bring it to us. All right. Well, good to know. Hey, your tournament is coming up. I can't believe it's we already do. December. I know, and, right? Uh, so I know you're still looking for people to to come out and play with you guys. So right. invite everybody out. What are you yes, doing, Robin? Our our. Uh, Annual uh, golf tournament uh -huh. is on uh, Saturday, February 6th in um, Punta right. Gorda. Okay. And we are looking for players. We have a few slots left. Uh, we did fill up pretty early last year. Okay. So if anyone's interested yeah. in playing, they need to Call get in now. touch with us and reserve your spaces. All right. And it's really just to have fun and, and raise, you know, some money for you guys. Absolutely. And again, because you don't get money from it. I mean, you really rely on volunteers right. and donations. Absolutely. Yeah, we and don't get any federal or state funding. Yeah. Uh, all of the costs of mm -hmm. uh, raising little kids like this yeah. come from the donations. Yeah. And the golf scramble is just a great time. It is, it is, and it's always a great time. What I love about you guys, too, you guys are open, right, 365 uh, days a year? Yes, yes. So we during the open, holidays, we if you're looking for someone. Yeah. And that was, we had a blast. We had a, Did you have a lot of people come in on Thanksgiving? Crowds, yeah. Yes, and we're also open on Christmas, mm -hmm. and that's also another day that's just massive for us because, you know, you can only open so many gifts, yep. and then you're looking for something to do. I know. And uh, we're a great thing. Well, Robin, we love what you do for all these animals here in Southwest Florida. Thank you for always bringing in interesting and fun animals for us to learn about. And hopefully, will they be able to be released back in the wild, you think? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, right. they, they're starting to get, you know, she's still a little bit friendly. Uh, her brother's already yeah. gone wild. Okay, so. he's still in there. He's doing good. I think all right. so. Thank uh -oh. you, Robin. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Might be running around here now. We'll send it over to Linda. Very cute. It's